everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video of my full collection of my Makeup Revolution lip glosses. Now I don't have all of the lip colors yet, but I do have eight of them and I thought it would be a fun video just to kind of show you what all these colors look like on me so you can kind of compare the colors to each other or if you have a similar skin tone as me, you can kind of imagine like what these colors might look like on you. I do have about eight of these, but they do have quite a few more that I don't have, but this is what I have at the moment and I thought it'd be a helpful video to some people. So I have eight different colors here that I'm going to be trying on. They do kind of range in color. I've got some light ones, a lot of nudes, some brown ones, a few more kind of like berry toned ones. So I'm going to go through and show all of these colors swatched on my lips and let you guys know what I think about them. So first things first, I'm going to remove the lip color I have on at the moment and I'm just going to take my beauty sponge just to kind of tidy that up a bit. So I believe these are all like $5 a piece regularly priced. Um, most of mine, actually all of mine except for, nope, all of mine I've gotten through the Makeup Revolution like bundle sets. So like the vending machine, the chocolate box, the chocolate vault, the all of those ha is where I got all of my lip colors from, but you can buy these individually. Um, and what I love about these is that they're all scented, like different things, and the name of them typically gives it away. So this is the first lip color here. This one is a light baby pink kind of color. This one is called Coconut, so I'm gonna apply this one. I do have to say most of the lip glosses are very like strong scent wise, but I do have to say the coconut one, I just, I'm not picking up any coconut at all. Okay, so this one is the color coconut. And I'm not applying anything else to my lips, this is just the lip gloss color. All right, so this is the color Coconut. It's definitely a light, milky pink kind of color. Um, I really love this type of color, but I would definitely like pair a lip liner with it. Just it on its own just looks a little bit weird to me, um, but it's definitely got a little bit of color to it. It's not one of those lip glosses that is so sheer. It's not really gonna show up. I think this definitely has a bit of color to it. All right, so this is the next color. This one is called Marshmallow. If I compare it to the last one, it's definitely a bit more of a, a warm toned, but I would still call this a very like neutral to cool toned color but it's not as blue pink as this purpley one and this one's just a little bit darker and the scent of this one is definitely strong and I really really like it all right so this is the color marshmallow I definitely feel a little bit more comfortable wearing this one completely on its own I feel like I wouldn't have to wear a lip liner to make this one work but I definitely really love this color I mean I love both of those colors but this one is probably like I don't know the most flattering color on me without having to like try hard or anything. I do have to dip in a couple times to get as much lip gloss as I want, but I find that's not a big deal at all. Um, and this one just, ew, it smells so, so good. If I was going to pick like just one lip gloss, I think this would be the one for me. All right, so the next color is Salted Caramel. This was the very first one I ever fell in love with. This one, again, smells so good. One thing I do have to say though, the packaging on this one is a little cheap, um, but they have repackaged, I believe. Um, the newer ones they have actually have like a gold cap, but not a big deal. It is a cheap lip gloss after all. But again, oh my God, this smells so good, so good. All right, so this is the color Salted Caramel. Again, this one is like one I feel like I wouldn't have to wear any lip liner with. This one is the most, I think that this one might be the most like my lips but better kind of color. And I forgot to mention the texture of these. I love these a lot because they are not overly sticky at all. They do have a little bit more of like a thicker creamy feeling without being thick, if that makes any sense. Um, I definitely wouldn't call these like thick or sticky at all, um, but it definitely does have a bit more of like a creaminess to the lip gloss that I actually really enjoy because I feel like it makes the color last a little bit longer without being like really um, gummy or thick or uncomfortable on the lips. All right, so this next one is called Praline. This one is very similar to the last one if I compare it. Um, as far as like color depth, it's very similar in my opinion. The only difference is I think that this one might be the tiniest bit more pinker. And if I compare them both to Marshmallow, that one is Marshmallow. This one is Salted Caramel. This one is Praline. So very similar in like the same color families, um, but just very slight variations. Again, this one has a really nice sweet scent to it. 
All right, so this is the color Praline, another one. I love this color. Like, those three are probably my top three favorites as far as, like, them being wearable, them looking flattering on me. This one definitely has a little bit more of a pinky kind of tone to it, which I think is really pretty and just looks really fresh and, like, healthy and stuff. So this one is another one I don't feel like I need to wear a lip liner with, and I would totally just, like, throw this on without, you know, really having to be super careful with it because it just kind of works. Okay, so now moving on to some more of the darker colors. These are definitely ones that are going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone, um, especially this next one. This one is called Toffee. This one is definitely more of like a yellow kind of toned brown, so it's definitely um, one color that I think would be a lot better suited for people who have more like tan skin tone or olive skin tone as well as deeper skin tones. I'm sure there's people with light skin tones that could pull this off, but it's probably not me. And again, spot on with the scent of this one. Like, it smells exactly like that caramely taffy kind of sweet like buttery kind of scent like this one is like spot on like this one in salted caramel just I think scent wise might be the best all right this one's gonna be interesting to see what it looks like on me all right so this is the color toffee again I don't really think it's necessarily like the most flattering color on me but it's not the worst either I felt like if I was wearing more of like a um, kind of like a mustardy warm brown kind of eye. I could kind of make this work a little bit better for me um, But this is definitely one. I don't hate at all Like I could probably pull this one off if I really wanted to um, But it's just not one I feel like I would reach for as like an everyday lip color It just doesn't really seem to suit my skin tone as much, but I feel like this would definitely look really good on tan um, To like more olive tones skin tones. I feel like it would just be like perfect All right, this next one is definitely gonna be a little bit out of my comfort zone. This one is milk chocolate and this one's quite a bit deeper so if I compare it to the last one toffee um, this one is toffee this one's milk chocolate so it's quite a bit deeper um, a little bit more neutral as well I feel like this one goes a little bit more towards like the yellowy end this one's definitely a little bit more neutral and just to kind of give you like a wild card comparison um, just to show you the colors this one is praline this one is toffee and this one is milk chocolate so you can just really see like how yellow um, those tend to be these brown colors. The scent of this one I said in my haul video reminds me exactly like a Tootsie Roll kind of scent which I personally like. Some people are kind of weird with their chocolate scents if it's you know like those fake artificial chocolate scents. I think it smells exactly like a Tootsie Roll and I like the smell of it so I like it. But you can definitely see like how pigmented these glosses are. I love that about these. I'm kind of surprised that I don't completely hate this color. Again I don't think it's the most flattering on me but I don't think it's like terrible. So I'm kind of surprised at that one, but this is the color Milk Chocolate. Again, I think that this would be a perfect nude if you have like medium to deep skin tone and you like want a really nice pigmented nude color gloss. I feel like these two colors in particular would be really good for medium to deep. Okay, this next color is called Raspberry. This one's getting a little bit back towards my comfort zone. This one's just a little bit deeper. But this one definitely, oh, that like really fruity raspberry scent. I love, I love, love this one. So like, look at that color. That is so pigmented for a lip gloss. All right, so this is the color raspberry. I love how this color looks on me. Again, it's a little bit deeper than a color I would typically go for, but it's not like the wrong undertone where it looks super out of place. This is just a really pretty just, I don't know, it's just such a pretty color, so this is raspberry. All right, and on to the final color. This is the darkest one that I own. This is the color Chocolate Cherry. Um, so this one kind of goes a little bit out of my comfort zone, but as far as the scent of this one. This one is not my favorite scent, maybe just because it's cherry though, and I just find that like 99% of the times, like cherry scented things just remind me of like cherry cough syrup, and that's kind of how this one is, but not my favorite scent, but it's not terrible. And the color of this one, again, the pigmentation on this lip gloss. Like, that's ridiculous. All right, and finally, this is Chocolate Cherry. This is definitely a bold out there color for me, and if I was going to wear this one, I would definitely pair it with a lip liner just because on me, this is such a dark color. And I feel like if it were to bleed a little, it would definitely be noticeable. But I do have to say that these are some of the most comfortable lip glosses I have ever tried. I love it because there's no grit or like glitteriness or anything in them. So it's like just so smooth and soft on the lips, which is extremely comfortable. And you can see that they are very, very pigmented colors, especially these darker ones. Like 
you can really get a full on lip color without needing a lipstick or anything. Um, and I find that these are just so nicely pigmented, comfortable to wear, they're affordable, and I'm a really big fan of these. I'd have to say these are probably my favorite lip gloss. At least of all the lip glosses I can think of that I've tried recently, these are definitely my favorites, and I'm so glad that I have a few more colors in my collection that I can rotate as like a daily lip color. So I really love these. Again, I wish I had more of them to share with you guys for the color comparisons, but I will be looking into a few more colors in the future. There's one I really want to get called Cookie Dough, and I think there's one called Chocolate Chip Cookie that I really have my eye on because I feel like, number one, I love those colors and I love those scents. So yeah, that is all eight of the Makeup Revolution lip glosses that I own. Of course, there are quite a few more, but yeah, so these are all the colors that I have, and hopefully this was helpful to you guys if you were wanting to kind of see what these colors look like on my skin tone if you have a similar one or just kind of like how these colors look compared to each other. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.